Welcome back to Video Sit Downs on Mason Web TV. I'm Diedrich Allen. Off camera, on camera is Tim Sheldon, and he's running for well, the seat he currently hel uh, holds, Mason County Commissioner District Two. Tim, I'm sure that you have answered this question a ton of times, but let's talk about Tim Sheldon. Who is Tim Sheldon? Well, thank you, Diedrich, for the opportunity to address the voters. Uh, I was born right here in Mason County. Uh, my family's been in the timber industry for a long time. My grandfather immigrated from Sweden, uh, came through Ellis Island, and uh, made his way across the country. Didn't speak any English. Uh, started working for the Phoenix Logging Company as a choker setter, and, and then became the logging superintendent, and uh, finally the general manager of the company when he retired. And uh, along the way, he put two daughters through uh, University of Washington. So what I inherited from my grandfather is his work ethic. I've always tried to uh, do a good job in anything I, I uh, attempt, stick with it, and uh, work very, very hard. And uh, I guess that's what I have here to give as a uh, Mason County Commissioner. I've uh, been a commissioner for uh, seven and a half years, worked very hard to uh, improve Mason County in a lot of different ways, and uh, I'd like to continue at least for the uh, next four years, and uh, that would... Uh, make it a career, I think, for me and local government. So, thank you. All right, Tim, the, come up some of the questions that we're asking the candidates. Uh, what is the biggest issue or problem facing Mason County, and how do you plan to deal with it? Well, Diedrich, I think the biggest uh, issue in Mason County is the budget. And we're in a deep recession. I think we're starting to come out of it. But in, in 2007, I'll give you an example. We had uh, t about 2,200 residential building permits, and that's not just the house itself, but uh, a roof or a remodel, those kinds of things. Today we're at 400. So from 2,200 permits a year down to 400, that's a, a huge dramatic uh, decrease in revenue that, and uh, construction jobs, which we've lost here in Mason County. So uh, working on our budget uh, is very important. We cannot uh, maintain a uh, county government that uh, would service a booming economy. So we've decreased our number of employees from 400 to 350. We've also consolidated many of our departments, and I think that's extremely important where, when uh, we put uh, uh, utilities and wastewater uh, together uh, with public works. We put community development and our building department into one uh, department as well. Building grounds and maintenance as well has been combined with parks. And some departments have just frankly gone away. So right-sizing uh, Mason County's uh, expenditures and uh, government is, I think, the most important thing we have to do because many counties in our state are, are getting close to bankruptcy. You cannot provide uh, uh, unlimited services. You have to provide a specific package of services which fits your revenue. And uh, we've been able to do that, and I, and I think that's the, the uh, one uh, issue that we have to continue doing. Because if you get into financial trouble, and it takes experienced fiscal management to stay out of financial trouble, uh, a county is really gets in desperate shape and starts to cut uh, essential services. How do you propose to increase tax revenue to support the services in Mason County? Well, I'm not a, a politician who believes we need to increase taxes. I have not voted to increase taxes. Uh, each county has an opportunity every year to increase their their uh, taxes 1% with a simple majority vote. I have not voted for that. Uh, we have tried to make do with what we have. Now, my favorite politician is uh, John F. Kennedy, and uh, Harry Truman comes in a close second. And uh, JFK didn't believe in raising taxes during a recession. He didn't do that. He tried to make it easier to uh, accomplish your business, make the permitting process easier, uh, give assistance if we can as, as county government, local and state, federal government, to our local businesses and try to help them succeed. And I think we've done a pretty good job of doing that and existing on what monies we have coming in the door. And uh, our citizens are making do with reduced income, with uh, uh, expenses that they didn't have before, and uh, many people have lost their jobs and, and uh, have reduced hours in our community. So I just don't think raising taxes is an answer uh, to getting through a recession. 
you have a specific plan to attract business or and industry to Mason County? And can you summarize it for us? Sure. Uh, for 18 years, I served as the executive director of the Economic Development Council of Mason County. So I'm very familiar with our business community. What I try to do is get out of the office. A lot of people say, oh, Sheldon, you're not, you're not there. Well, where I am is outside the office talking to business people, trying to find out what their issues are, what their problems are. Sometimes it's a permitting issue, which uh, will hold them up. Sometimes it's a financing issue. Where can I find money to expand or, or retain the employees I have? We have some world-class companies here. We're not going to go out and attract a Microsoft or an Amazon.com to come to Mason County, but we have some unique world-class companies. Think of uh, Olympic Mountain Ice Cream, uh, Taylor Shellfish, Sims Manufacturing, Techwood here just around the corner employs 80 people. There, there's a, a wonderful uh, wealth of, of companies here in Mason County that we need to help grow and improve. And a lot of that is finding uh, good, solid workers, people that come to work every day on time, put in a full day's work, and, and uh, are uh, free, of, uh, free of drugs and alcohol. What is Mason County's single biggest need? Well, public safety, I'd say, is what uh, people want. Uh, we have worked very hard. Uh, uh, personally, I think uh, we've made great improvements in, in uh, public safety in the last uh, uh, few years. For example, our Mason County budget for our uh, Sheriff's Department has increased 24 percent since I was first elected in 2004. Now we've increased our uh, security at the courthouse. As you know, we have a, uh, a full-time deputy there uh, sc screening uh, for weapons and contraband coming into the courthouse. We hopefully will avoid the problem that Grace Harbor had with a, with a tragic uh, uh, incident out there where uh, two people were injured, one, one shot. And uh, we've also uh, provided a new uh, headquarters for our Sheriff's Department uh, downtown, a really state-of-the-art facility, and a new facility in uh, Belfair. Uh, we've also put in a traffic policing uh, effort, five deputies out there uh, on traffic patrol as well. And I think that's been in response to the public's uh, uh, cry for public safety. But that's one leg of the three-legged stool. We also need the prosecutor. We have to maintain funds for the prosecutor's office and for the court system. Because when you look at the, the uh, public safety expenditures in Mason County, the sheriff, the prosecutor, the court system, probation, all those things, we take about, that takes about 70 percent of every dollar that we, that we have. So it's important that we look for federal monies, for local, uh, local match monies as well, and we're doing a good job of that. So I think if you ask the public what's the number one need, it's public safety. If you ask Tim Sheldon, it's make sure we have the budget and we have people that can articulate that need, who are uh, running for office that have the experience and the conviction to carry through on their commitments. Final question for you, Tim. What is your vision for Mason County? Well, Mason County is a wonderful place. As I said, I was born here and, and uh, have spent almost all my life here in Mason County. I uh, have a degree in economics from the University of Pennsylvania, the Wharton School of Finance and Commerce, and a master's degree in, in public administration, in, uh, excuse me, in business administration. And uh, my vision for Mason County is a better educated workforce. Uh, we often suffer when a new company comes in or a, a company wants to expand and cannot find uh, qualified people here in Mason County. We need to keep our kids in school longer. I think we would, we would benefit greatly from a Boys and Girls Club or one of those types of organizations to, to uh, help keep our kids on the straight and narrow. You know, we have a, a terrific drug problem here in Mason County, and a lot of people don't want to talk about it. But I can tell you, a drug-free Mason County would be my vision. Uh, when you uh, see the recent murders and uh, uh, the uh, robberies that we have, the uh, home invasions or the uh, property crimes, almost all of them are related to drugs. And it's, it's a, uh, uh, a scourge that m every county, every city, every community deals with here in the United States, but we have to take it on uh, and realize that and work hard to uh, keep our kids drug-free and uh, give them guidance, work hard with our children in our recreational programs and, and uh, our quality of life issues, and uh, work hard together because I think we can make a good and even a better place for Mason County to live and work in.
All right. Tim Sheldon, he's running for re-election in the Mason County Commissioner District 2 position. CD currently held, uh, held, holds. Uh, thank you for taking some time talking to us. Thank you, Diedrich.